In other local news tonight, Governor Brian Kemp made a stop in Warner Robins to talk about a bill he says that would keep local veterans working. 41 NBC's Lisbeth Gutierrez tells us how veterans here in Middle Georgia could benefit. Governor Brian Kemp met with state and local leaders at the Vector Center in Warner Robins Thursday morning. The topic was the Career Military Retirement Income Tax Exclusion Bill. The goal of this is to, number one, thank our members of the military and our veterans, but also help those that are retiring, exempting their retirement income before they get the standard exemption we already have at age 62. The proposed bill would allow Georgia veterans to receive up to a $17,500 income tax exemption. Governor Kemp says this will open the door to new beginnings. This is going to help a lot of people that are retiring from the military in their 40s or 50s that still want to be in the workforce. It's going to help us with our workforce development in our state, one of the biggest issues we got, but also just a big thank you to those members to keep them in our state not have them move to bordering states or other places around the country. Several state leaders are in support of the proposed bill. Senator Larry Walker says he supported several bills that help military members and their families, but this one is the most impactful. Well, the military retirement issue has come up time and time again as the number one priority really for, for our Department of Defense and the military, uh, and it puts dollars back in their pocket and allows them to uh, stay in Georgia. Chastity Hall is a veteran who moved to Middle Georgia three years ago. She says this newly proposed bill will help her and it will help other veterans reconsider staying in Georgia. It's an opportunity now to be like, oh, we don't have to go to another state that has no taxes on retirement. In Warner Robins, Elizabeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. Governor Kemp says he hopes this bill will continue to attract veterans to Georgia's workforce. The next step for this bill is for lawmakers to pass it.